So you wanna get your driver's license in Thailand, but you don't know where to start? Well, this video is gonna be a complete guide of the whole process from beginning to end. I'm gonna tell you all the documents you need to prepare, where to go to get it all done, how much it costs, whether you need driving tests. I'm gonna cover everything, and I'm gonna be moving pretty fast, but don't worry. I'm gonna put chapter markers in for every step of the process, so you can just come back to the video and find the parts that you're looking for. It's gonna be divided into three parts, and part three, I'm gonna give you my biggest tip to save you the most time and, uh, and headaches. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's get me and you a Thai driver's license. I'm doing all the research here so you don't have to. And here's a line that I found that says it all. A Thai driver's license can be done in a single day, costs only a few hundred baht, and is valid in 10 ASEAN countries. Sounds easy enough? but we're about to find out just how true that statement is. It seems like there's a bunch of documents and stuff that they're gonna be asking for. So let's run through the list. I got all mine prepared here, but first the basics. You need to be 18 years old and in good physical and mental health. Well, I'm just a little bit older than 18, so all good there. Good physical health? Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. And good mental health? Yeah, sure. Let's just hope that we can trick them on this one. Next, all the paperwork. You're gonna need to fill out an application form. You get this from the Department of Land Transport, which is Thailand's equivalent to the DMV. I'm heading there next, and I'm gonna be showing you this form when we get there. And for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna call it the DLT, the Department of Land Transport. Next, you're gonna need a valid passport. I got mine right here. Some fine print I found is that you're supposed to prove that you're a long-term resident of Thailand, but there's tons of foreigners with stories of how they got their Thai driver's license using just a tourist visa. This is because the DLT isn't the government branch that gives a damn about your visa status. That's immigration. Lucky for me though, I'm a long-term resident. I won't have to put that to the test. Depending on which DLT office you go to, they might need a copy of the first page of your passport, the page containing your valid non-immigrant visa, and the page with the last entry stamp into Thailand or your last 90-day report. To be safe, I've got all of these ready to go, and I actually made two copies of each just to be safe, so it should be good there. Next, I heard you need a residence certificate. This is where things get painful. To get a residence certificate, you need to go into the immigration office, or as I like to call it, hell. But if you take a copy of your lease for where you live into immigration along with your passport, they'll issue a residence certificate within a day. I also heard the DLT might want this cert certified by your country's embassy. I'm really hoping to avoid all that, so we're gonna roll the bones here. I'm gonna take my work permit, and I got a copy of my lease with me, and I'm gonna go straight into the DLT. This might backfire, but I'm about to find out. Next, if you have an international driver's license, make a copy of that. I've heard that this makes things way easier once you get there. I don't have one, but I do have my Canadian driver's license, and I made two copies of that, and I'm gonna be bringing them with me. And the originals, bring all originals, and we'll see if that helps. Lastly, and this one's classic Thailand, I've read that you need a medical certificate. Same as when I renew my work permit every year. So I'm gonna pack up all my documents here and I'm gonna head to the DLT. But first, let me show you where I'm gonna get my medical certificate, or at least try to get it. Okay, so the cost of getting a medical certificate, or so I've read in my research, can range between like 200 baht at a little local clinic, all the way up to 800 baht or more at one of the fancy hospitals. And in classic Thai style, I've heard that if you show up to the DLT office and you forgot to bring a medical certificate, there's a motorbike taxi service that'll take you to a clinic right around the corner. They'll run you over, you get it done, they'll take you back. And I'm assuming that the line there might be super long. I don't wanna wait, so I came down here to the same clinic that I like to use. It's close to my house in Asok. It's called WellMed Clinic. Uh, they've given me quick, easy service before. 
Uh, so I'm going to go in and see if they can handle this. I'll also leave a Google Map link to this place in the description in case that helps you. Now, let's go in. We'll see exactly what they do. And uh, I'll find out how much it really costs. And now, this is a good time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. the paperwork out in Thai, but they give you a little English example. So, okay, so this video is sponsored by Safety Wing, more specifically, their new Nomad Health Plan. I've been using Safety Wing since I moved to Thailand, and I'm gonna give you the top five reasons why Haley and I signed up for their new Nomad Health Plan. Number five is by far the most important one for us anyway. First, it covers you in over 175 countries around the world. We live here in Thailand, but we want to travel quite a bit and uh, wanted a plan that would take care of us no matter where we go. This probably isn't the best thing for my blood pressure reading. That's normal. Oh, good. All checked out, good news. Number two, why I use Safety Wing, Nomad Health. It's a full health plan, covers both routine and preventative health care. So if I want to use it for checkups like the one I did last year, a big comprehensive health check, that's totally covered. Okay, just like that I'm done. I couldn't even get you through the five reasons, but the third reason, is that Safety Wing has 24 seven service in all time zones. So if you need to reach them, you can do it quickly and easily. The last time I needed to contact someone on the online chat, uh, I got hooked up in under a minute. And number four, here I am on my list is fast and easy claims. I hope I never have to use it for the big stuff, but for the small stuff, they got a cool system where I just pay at the local hospital and then uh, get reimbursed online quickly and easily. Now, number five is the, the, the biggest reason why I like to use this. So yeah, this one for me by far is the most important reason why I've chosen to go on this plan. It's reason number five. And, and that's that they let you choose any healthcare facility that you wanna use, whether it's public or private. So Thailand, as you know, has got some of the nicest hospitals that I've ever seen. And for Haley and I, it's super important that whatever plan we're on, it lets us go into the best places, which for us, places like Bangkok Hospital or Bum Run Grad, and it's not gonna stick us in some public hospital that we might not wanna be at. So where you choose to get your health insurance, obviously, totally up to you. I'm sure there's lots of great options out there. Do your own research, but those are the reasons why I use Nomad Health. And if you want to see how much it would cost you, I'll leave a link to their pricing calculator down in the description. You can enter your age and it'll spit out a quick price for you. So thanks to Safety Wing for sponsoring this video. Now it's time to see if all this preparation work that we've done pays off. Let's head to the DLT. So from what I read, the biggest DLT office and the one that's most recommended for expats is the one out at Chattu Chak Market. But I did some digging around and I found one a lot closer to my house. So if you live on Sukhumvit, you might want to come here. This is Bang Chak Station, right where I am now. Just exit out of the BTS, follow the signs to uh, exit number three. And when you get here, you're going to want to turn right and head down these stairs. And when you get out of Bang Chak Station, you'll see it behind you, then you want to walk this way just a bit. You're going to pass Sukhumvit Soy 99, shout out Wayne Gretzky. 
And then right when you get to this nice lady cooking up nice little egg omelets, uh, you're gonna wanna turn left right here. Let me show you. So that is the entrance to the DLT. You're gonna wanna hang left here. You can see it's very uh, kind of closed off and formal now. We're walking down that way. Okay, so after walking a few hundred meters, I've made it here. The rain started to fall. I don't like that, but there it is. The infamous Department of Land Transport office that you're gonna wanna find. Now, I don't know what happens when I go in there. I've heard rumors of color blindness tests, vision tests, driving tests, forms, paperwork, all kinds of stuff. But I figured uh, I'm just gonna walk in, no appointment, and see what happens. Now. I don't know if I'll be able to get any footage in there, but we're gonna put the big camera away. We're gonna go stealth mode and, and see what we can find out. Ooh, only tie. That's a bad start. As soon as you get in there, no surprise, but there's a big lineup to get to the information desk. And as I got closer to the front, I saw expats who had a Thai agent. This worried me because I had no idea what to do. But there is a specific line that says foreigners only, so make sure you get into that one. I got to the front of the line and found out my first mistake. I didn't print the back side of my Canadian driver's license, so I went outside and just across the parking lot you'll see this little outdoor restaurant and in the corner is a little print shop. Four bot later, I had my missing photocopy, I went straight back to the information desk where the same girl recognized me and gave me a ticket with a queue number. Next head over to this section and when your number gets called go up to the counter. They'll check your documents and send you into the physical test where first they test your reflexes upon seeing a red light. And uh, then they'll test so that you know all the colors of the stoplight. After that, they sent me up to the third floor of the same building and into a room where they make you watch a safety video that lasts nearly an hour. Try and stay awake, I challenge you. I thought there'd be a test, but they sent me right back downstairs to the main information desk where they gave me another Q number ticket. This time, go to the right side, and when your number's called, head into this room. I sat down and saw the camera. Could it be? Is this it? Popcorn caps. Oh yeah, it worked. That was pretty easy, in and out of there, probably in about two hours. Now, before I get to part three and tell you how much it cost and give you some of my tips on making the process easier, I should talk a little bit about the tests. Because I had a Canadian license, I was able to avoid most of the tests. But if you don't have a valid license with you, then here's the test that you're gonna need to do. First, there's a physical test. This includes a test for color blindness, one for depth perception, a reflex test, and a test to your peripheral vision. I think I had to do that one. Next, you'll have to do a theory test. For this one, you watch a very long video, and they'll give you a book with traffic signs. Studying the road signs is key, because it all leads to a written test where I hear you're gonna need to remember a bunch of this stuff. I didn't have to do that. After the video, they sent me down to give me this bad boy. Finally, you got to do an actual driving test. Compared to most countries, the driving test in Thailand is actually really easy. You drive alone on this course here behind me to demonstrate driving forward and backward, parallel parking, and driving alongside a curb and stopping at a stop sign. If you can't do that, then you don't deserve a damn driver's license. And as you go through this course, there's gonna be a DLT rep watching you. And as you complete each maneuver, you raise your hand to let them know that you're done and they give you a little score. You can rent your own car and bring it for the driving test, or you should be able to rent one from right here at the DLT for the test for a couple hundred baht. If you fail the driving test, you can take it again after three days now. Let's get to part three and I'll wrap this all up and give you some tips and some things to definitely not forget. Okay, so here's my tips for you. First, 
Some things that I didn't have to do, but it doesn't mean that you won't have to. So I didn't have to fill out any application form. I didn't have to provide any proof of residency. Uh, my work permit was enough. But for those of you out there like on a retirement visa, I think that you might have to do the painful step of going to immigration and or your embassy to get this done. If anyone out there knows and has done this on a retirement visa, drop a comment below and help everyone else out. Uh, that'd be appreciated. I also didn't need two copies of anything. So one copy will do. You can save yourself a few baht there. My biggest tip is to go prepared. I wouldn't want to go into the DLT multiple times because I forgot to bring something. So get all your paperwork in order before you go into the DLT. And don't forget to take all your originals. I didn't need to bring a copy of my condo lease, but I had it just in case. So I would recommend the same. Next, how long does it take? Well, I was in the DLT for a total of 2.5 hours, about under, just under three hours. And another tip is to get in there early, like literally when they open. But overall, the super smooth process in at the DLT, I gotta say, good job by the Minister of Land Transport. I tip my cap to you, sir. When you first apply for your license, it's valid for two years. So two years from now, I'm gonna have to go in and renew it. And when you renew it, you're gonna get five years at that time. Finally, the price. So it was 200 baht for the medical checkup, 60 baht for the first batch of copies, four baht for the extra copies, and 205 baht for the actual driver's license. Grand total of 469 baht, which is less than 15 US dollars. I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in this video to help you out. So check that out in the description below and check out the Nomad Health link. If you're curious what my health insurance program in Thailand would cost you, just click that one. Thanks again to Safety Wing for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys found it useful. Cheers.